I'm going to start PowerPoint 2013 from Windows 8. Now I need to go to this button down here to show me all the, this stuff. I'm going to go to the corner and I'm going to go up to Search. I'm going to type in Power in the Apps box and lo and behold, on the left hand side, Apps result for Power, PowerPoint 2013. When we first go into PowerPoint 2013, we have this recent files list here. And this will show us our recent file. If it's a file I regularly access, I can pin it here for future use, so it'll always be here. Yeah, obviously this list will change, but if I pin it, if I pin a file, it will always be here for me to access. Now, I can open other presentations from other locations from here, and if I click on that button, which I just have done, it says recent presentations, the ones I've pinned, SkyDrive, which is an online Hotmail location. Basically, if you subscribe, if you have a Hotmail account, you can save to your SkyDrive, which is your basically your cloud in Hotmail. Basically, a, a location in Hotmail where you can save your files to. Other web locations, your computer, or you can add a place, and adding a place would mean a SharePoint site or another SkyDrive location, assuming you have more than one Hotmail account. And go back, and that takes me back to our list of um, recent files and the files that I've pinned. I can unpin them by unpinning them here. So I'll unpin them. Now, the files that are showing opposite here are templates that are present on my computer. So all these templates ship with PowerPoint 2013. So obviously we've got our default blank, blank presentation. We've got this ION one here as well. We've got organic. Now, a new feature of these is um, if I click on one of these, if I click on organic and select it, not only can I, when I select the actual template, I've got different variations that I can select in terms of its theme. So if I hover over it, it'll give me different variations of that, that particular organic template. And if I click on create, it'll create it for me. Clicking on this arrow, it'll create a presentation based on that template. I correct myself. Clicking on this arrow will take me to the next template in the list. I just if I have we see I've selected that template there. But it'll take me to this one next, you know, I'll click on that. We can see it's taken me to this title ten, this banded title now um, template. And obviously these are the different variations of that template that I can select in terms of theme and design. And like I said before, if I click on create, it will create a PowerPoint presentation based on that template. We won't do that for now. I'm gonna click on the X to close that and I'll be taken back to my my actual templates here which are available on my PC. The last thing, not the last thing I want to look at, but definitely one of the things I need you need to be aware of is because I've already logged on to PowerPoint and I've actually signed in, what I have done is I've set up my New Horizons email account to actually um, be a focal point for my actual PowerPoint account as well. So what that means is I can save my stuff to my SkyDrive on my New Horizons site if I wanted to, or and also it means I could save to my New Horizons um, SharePoint site using this. Okay, I can switch an account if I want to, so I could switch between this and my Hotmail account. I could add an additional account, and I could actually sign out if I wanted. So I could sign out and say that I don't want to be logged on whilst I'm here. Yeah. Now what we have over here is the ability to search for templates. Now you don't actually have to type anything in because what you can do is if I click on business it will search online for all the business templates I want to look for. And what I can do to further filter that I have this category on the right hand side. Now when I click on this category and I go to finance and accounting it will filter and show me all of those that match up to finance and accounting. Yeah, it's quite good. I can click on um, form, and it will show me all those that are kind of like form. But what it's doing now is actually kind of like it's actually showing me results from Excel, which may appear like that. So I've got 11 from Excel, and I can close that up, and it's showing me stuff from Word that I can use as well. So. Not only is it showing me templates from PowerPoint, it's showing me templates from other Office applications. If I click on business and just go back to here and press return, it will go back and do that 
normal search that it did initially before I filtered it and it will show me the categories again and if I want to go to let's say if I want to go to presentation it will show me all of those regarding presentation and I can scroll down here, scroll bar will appear if, if there are loads of them and as you can see I can scroll down and view these presentations. Obviously it may take a while for them to actually be previewed because this is it is searching for them online, don't forget. Okay? So these look quite good and you're not limited. I mean the advantage of this is you're not limited to the original templates you saw before. If I want to go back to my original location where our templates on the computer were, I could click on home or I could click on this back arrow. I'm going to click on this back arrow and it takes me back to the templates on my computer and the search for online templates and themes on my recent files and my login here. Okay, So that's opening PowerPoint. That's the new kind of like look we have when we open up PowerPoint. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.